report a group of East Texas firefighters under fire themselves. Yeah, specifically how taxpayer dollars have been spent, some say misused. Mm -hmm. KETK's Mai Owens is here to explain what some are calling a money emergency. Neil and Casey back in 2015, the budget to fund 11 fire departments across Smith County added up to $5 million. Now that number has jumped to more than 13 million. We have been digging into the finances behind this large increase and spoke with some people who say the numbers aren't adding up. An unexpected emergency inside the fire department is setting off alarms. They're out of control as far as spending. Uh, and they knew that some things were going on that they needed people to come in and get involved to, to kind of try to put a stop to it or, or, or make them do the right thing. The Smith County ESD2 is responsible for 11 departments, protecting more than 92,000 people. Their mission statement right here on their website to be the leading emergency service district in the most cost effective manner possible. Something Craig Licardi takes seriously, calling himself a watchdog for taxpayers. Licardi became concerned when he spotted what he calls an unusually high number. The, the budget for this year is 220% higher than what it was last year, which is almost entirely made up of increases in the salaries for the ESD, the payroll uh, line item for the ESD2 administration. So we took a look at the numbers. According to Licardi's research, everyone working under the ESD2 administration received a pay raise. Take the fire chief, for example. In the 2019 and 2020 fiscal year, he was paid more than $67,000. But for 2020 to 2021, his salary went up to $100,000, a $33,000 raise. Uh, ESD staff have raises anywhere from 23 to 60% uh, on a year-over-year -year basis, which is just, it's, it's un, unheard of in any industry to have a raise of that, that amount. Licardi is no stranger to the fire department. I started as a firefighter myself in one of the districts as a volunteer. And now wants to continue to look out for the community, not only its physical health, but its financial health. On October 22nd, Licardi, along with East Texas-based Grassroots America, We the People, submitted a public information request asking for the minutes from the September ESD2 board meeting. If a, uh, an elected commissioner's board gives authority to hire 18 and then you completely disregard them, you completely make that board irrelevant and do whatever you want to do, that's unconscionable. He should have been fired on the spot. According to the minutes, the board approved the hiring of 18 firefighters. But according to Licardi, 30 people were offered jobs, almost twice the budgeted number. Not only did the board president, Randy Melt, not only was he aware that the chief was hiring in excess of the 18 that were approved, he didn't attempt to stop it, and he didn't inform anyone else, any of the other commissioners, what was happening. Licardi says fire departments across Smith County are in need of more people in order to improve response times. He says volunteers are an important part of the force, but now worries they could be pushed aside despite their dedication. I believe what's happening is the chief is attempting to push the volunteers completely out and turn it into a 24-7 uh, professional firefighter organization across the entire county. Former ESD2 board president Randy Melton, who just lost his re-election campaign, says it's all a misunderstanding. Our fire district is made up of a combination department. We have not only volunteers, but we have paid staff as well. Working together to give a, a good response time Faster response time, you know, save lives. When ESD2 leaders met just last week, the board approved the transfer of $630,000 from their sales tax account to the general fund, specifically to be used for paid staff. A year ago, we went out and asked the citizens to approve a sales tax. We went to a referendum for sales tax and told, told the citizens at that time, we want to use the additional money from sales tax to provide for additional staffing. Right now, in the current fiscal year, the district receives about $5 million a year from property taxes. This year, we were able, since the sales tax passed, to lower the property tax rate about a penny and a half. And so, 
What we told the citizens we would do if you pass this, we did lower the property tax rate, but we do have additional source of revenue this time that we're balancing the two revenues between sales tax versus property tax, which gives us a ability to hire more additional firefighters. The combination of local sales and property taxes funds these 11 volunteer fire departments in rural areas across the county. It's something Johnny Brown has dedicated his life to. The community for the last 47 years as a firefighter. Uh, I'm 65 years old and so it's not as easy going into these burning buildings and doing all these rescues and stuff like I used to. It takes its toll. Living here for more than 25 years, Brown says he wants more transparency from the board. That's why he ran against and beat Melton. The check register, which lists where the money's spent, you know, like they pay Goodyear $5,000 for tires. That hasn't been updated since June of 2018. And, you know, to me as a taxpayer and even as a citizen, if I wanted to see where my money was going, I could click on there and see it. The budget, yeah, it, it's pretty well complete, except the sales tax revenue, that's not on there. Brown wants to make sure all tax dollars are benefiting the community. Volunteers need the paid staff and the paid staff need the volunteers. The, the big thing is to serve the citizens and the taxpayers the way we need to serve them and make sure we're doing it in the most financial and accountable manner that we can. Hoping to clear up this fiery debate. Now, Brown will officially take charge in January of 2021. He won the position by 4,000 votes, defeating Melton, who has held the position for eight years. He says his first priority is to get volunteers and paid staff on the same page in order to ensure taxpayers feel confident and safe. Reporting in studio, my own KTK News.